food webs show us how the energy is transferred between organisms in an ecosystem. Here I have an example of a simple food web. So here's your question. What is one type of organism that is missing from this food web? Take a minute and discuss that with your classmates, then I'll be back to talk about the answer. So let's take a look at what type of organisms are represented in this food web to determine what type of organism might be missing. You can see that we have producers, which are plants, the grass and the corn. The other organisms in this food web are all consumers. But we can be more specific about what types of consumers we have. We can see that we have herbivores that eat only plants. The deer, caterpillars, and ants are all herbivores. We have carnivores that eat only meat or other consumers. The cougars and hawks are carnivores. And we also have omnivores. Omnivores eat plants and other animals. So what type of organism is missing? Well, what I don't see are decomposers. Decomposers, like bacteria and fungi, are an important part of every ecosystem. Decomposers get their energy by breaking down dead plants and animals. This is very important for an ecosystem because it helps to recycle those nutrients and keeps them from being trapped inside the dead organisms. Here you can see a food web that shows decomposers. The bacteria are getting their energy from the squirrels, owls, and mice, while the fungi are getting their energy from the oak trees and the grasses. The bacteria and the fungi are decomposers. They're not killing or eating these other organisms in the way that you might think of. They're decomposing them after they die. I'm sure that you and your classmates realize that decomposers were missing from this food web. Keep up the great work, and I'll see you next time.